Turkey would win Master Chef with this. Mate, we wouldn't even get the starting point. Guess who's back? 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 Guess who's back. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have brought my sister Emma to help me bake a vegan gluten free sponge, sponge cake. cake. It says Victorian cake, but we're just gonna call it sponge because our level of cooking is like here and the level that we're trying to aim for is like up here. And mine's all the way here. <laughs> so we're gonna see how it goes. It's all gonna do a before and after, try and copycat this recipe and see if it turns out the same. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it goes well. So to start off with, I have just buttered it like with nutlets and just put some baking paper on the bottom of our trays because they're a little bit dirty. I'm not gonna lie, they're old. So we just thought we'd do <gasps> that. Tell me about that. <laughs> so That's why we did it to hide it. <laughs> so first, we're gonna preheat the oven. So we're gonna start off by measuring two cup, cup, two cups, two cups of gluten-free flour, as so. So you can measure that out. Oh gosh, I just spilt it everywhere. Ah! I'll oh, chew. That's good. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Perfect amount. All right. The so flour's done. Next, you need one teaspoon of xanthium gum. Right here. You want to put some music on? No. <laughs> <laughs> Shut down! Mm. We need two thirds of a cup of granulated sugar, which is that one, class of sugar. So, you want to put two thirds of a cup in there? Is this gluten free and dairy free? Yeah, sugar is good. It's not to have any gluten in it. That's, that's a hell of a lot of sugar. Two thirds, two, thirds, two of those, yeah. yeah. Holy crackaroons! Macaroons, but crackers. Pinch of salt. You want to do the pinch or the pinch? No, I'll do the bed. When I say pinch, it's like, oh, my actual pinch. Yeah. Two teaspoons of baking powder. Not you. Oh, you put the wet. Now you put water in the chai ingredients. <laughs> Two yeah. teaspoons of baking soda. Are we going to be the sister? Yes. Of course, I'm going to be the sister. <laughs> and then the zest of one lemon. Which is actually nice. Help. Oh, that's when you scratch it off. Yeah, you wanna do that? Yeah. You know how I know that, Master Chef. Oh, Master yeah. Chef has taught me so much. Oh, it's time regret, regret taking on that job. They make it look so easy on Master Chef. They're just like because they have strong hands, more than resting. <laughs> She's uh, left like half oh, of the lemon zest, if you can see. Half of the lemon zest. <laughs> half of the lemon zest is still on the spatula. Look at that. Half of it still remains. You need to That's wipe how that off. That's the professionals do it. No, they don't leave half the lemon yeah, zest. Yeah, they do. Yes. Oh, whoa. Sorry. You're scared. See what happens when we cook with this? She takes over all the duties. Oh, I'm gonna leave you. <laughs> Bye. So my sister's gonna take a call. She'll be back soon. So what we have to do next is just make, like, sift it through. The, so sift the dry ingredients into a bowl. So you can sort of evenly distribute it throughout the mixture. Voila, that's done. So the sieving's done now. So now I'm going to move on to the wet ingredients and start stirring that through and then I think you can bind them after that. <gasps> you sifted! Yeah, you left. <laughs> I have to do the sieving job for you. I'm right. gonna cry. <laughs> Em's back now, so now we're gonna move on with the cooking. And she's sifted! <laughs> Mix all the wet ingredients together and then add them to the dry ingredients. So, coconut cream. Okay, coconut cream. I think we need vegetable Jam. oil. <laughs> So it says to use Extract. vegetable oil, but we just decided yeah. to use coconut oil because that's my favourite one to use. I love coconut oil. It's a favour of mine and I thought it would go well with the coconut cream. Complement it well. So I think we need to melt the coconut oil because otherwise it's going to be hard in the ingredients and that won't be very nice. Yeah, and yeah. thankfully we do so much here. You can do the wet ingredients. I'm contributing so much. You're good company. The company is that. With what I'm that? not here for the company. I'm here to learn how to cook better. <laughs> I'm the wrong person to teach you about <laughs> master chef skills. So one and a third cups of almond milk is going to go in the bowl. With a kips. And then we need two teaspoons of lemon juice. So you need to squeeze the lemon afterwards as well. I actually hope this turns out so good because I'm going to be eating so much. <laughs> I want it to be like super fluffy. Tasty. So fingers crossed it goes fluffy because otherwise it's just going to be a, like a deflated sponge cake. Mm, that's what I'm kind of thinking like a burnt flat. Not nice cake. You have really high hopes for us. <laughs> I think sponge cake was probably too over. Too advanced for us. Too advanced for us. <laughs> I think we we should have tried a normal we cake. brownies. <laughs> My boots good and baby is driving me. What are we doing next? So you need to squeeze this lemon and put two teaspoons of lemon juice in. Squeeze it. Squeeze the lemon. 
I'm so late on that joke. Like, we said it like five times. <laughs> You're so savage. <laughs> I don't mean to be, I'm sorry. She's so cutting. This is how, like, how I live every day and it's shredding me. I feel like it's actually the opposite. I get shredded most of the time. That's true. Do I have two of these yet? Yeah? Yep, two of those. Two teaspoons of lemon juice and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. We should. You know how we said we had enough in the vanilla extract? We do not. We have like one teaspoon of it. It's oh, coming yeah. down to the nail. The one tip I learned through school was to clean up as you go. <laughs> That's the only thing I learned in food tech and hospitality. Yeah, was sense. that like from, from friends that are like, stir and drink, stir and drink, don't ever let it settle? Oh, and the coffee! Constantly keep it moving. Stir and drink, stir and drink, never let it settle. Our wet ingredient going well. I think that's enough, so you can pop it into but the it's going to solidify as you see. No, that's alright. Just pop it on in. So you mix that. Just make sure there's no clumps, so you don't want any flour clumps in it. That is a beautiful job done by M. I know, thank you. <laughs> it's so modest. A rose here. So we're going to pop that, so all the lumps of the flour are gone, which is what you want. And then we're going to pop that into these two baking tins. So you've got to it evenly and pop them into them. So we're going to do that now. I feel like you've done a lot on this one and then none on the other one. <laughs> it's just because I spread it, that's why. It just looks like this. Definitely See, look, not just because you spread it. <laughs> I just spread yeah. it. Look, it's the same. Flat now, time. because M didn't even it out properly, I have to scoop some back into the side. Sure, she's talking my best. So we've done our best to make Does it as even lemony. as possible. So I now mean, we're going to pop them into the oven Johnny. just over there. Do you want to pop them in the oven? Yeah, if you open it. Yeah, cool, thanks, Em. <laughs> you okay? Can't get it. Alright, so put one on the bottom, one on top. And start that timer. Better always have been, always have oh. For 35 minutes, it's best to put the counter, put the timer on. And the time starts now. It says for 35 minutes or until golden brown on top and springy to the touch. So when you it's insert a toothpick and it comes out clean, you know it's ready. Alrighty, so they're done now and they look lovely golden brown. We tested them with a better. fork. This yeah, they do look better. really good. Actually, they look perfectly done. This one looks perfect. Look. Oh, that one looks so good. I put, sorry, it's at fork marks. No, that's good. That. So we tested them and the fork came out clean. So now we're just going to let them cool. But the, it said that you need to take them out of the like the pan straight away otherwise because sponge cakes tend to get um, condensation on them and make them go really wet so we're going to pull them out and put them onto a cooling rack so they can dry like cool down properly without like getting moisture on them take it off the wrapping yeah Ooh, thank you look at that it looks so cool they look so good that turned out well so we're going to let them cool in the drying racks for a bit until they're nice and cold before we put the whipped cream on top of them so don't do the whipped cream now? Yeah. Yeah, we'll do the whipped cream now. So Em had the smart idea that we should change into our onesie, so we're going to do that because it's freaking freezing it's over like here. It's cold. It's so cold. So we're going to do that now. So ready? One, two, three. Oh, whoa! <laughs> we're back! We look so cute! We don't need I need two cups of coconut cream. We can open it. Ugh, there we go. Ooh, Ooh, the good that stuff. Cool. It's like, it looks like yogurt. It's what? like so, it's so stuck it won't come out. Oh, there it all goes. One cup of powdered sugar. Oh, do much. There we go. Pop it on in. Just pour the rest in there. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract that was. Whisk until lovely. Oh, oh, oh. We totally needed a bigger bowl. You tip, ready? One, two, three. You go, girl. Take two. <laughs> there we go. So we've just popped it in the fridge for uh, an hour or so just to help it to thicken. And then we're going to take it out again afterwards and whisk it again to help it thicken up a bit more. So our cream is a little bit watery. So I'm going to try and thicken our coconut cream with some arrowroot powder. I don't know how it's going to go. But it's just because we, well, I mist mistakenly forgot to separate the milk and the cream. <laughs> so the milk is with it, in with the cream, so that's why it's a little bit watery. But oh well, it's a lesson learned for next time. A little bit of time. Yeah, that's a lot, but I <laughs> Let's try and plate this up. 
So it's just like, liquidness. It won't thicken. That's just as good as it's going to get. How do you know? We're, we yeah, just put flour wrong. in just it. Just put the milk in there so it won't thicken like it would. So that's as good as it's going to go. Well, we butch this. <laughs> the cream's always the hardest part though. No, I mean, just use whipped cream like non dairy free people do. Put the strawberry jam on. So, the lesson you'll learn from this is to actually freeze your stuff. Yep. Freeze the night before, separate the cream, and we're just going to pop it on and then put the berries on. Why are you doing that? Woo! Why are you pouring it? Because <laughs> I started. Why are you not smoothing it around? <laughs> it's smoothing itself. <laughs> we need more jam, quick! It tastes good. We need jam stat. We don't need any more. I told you, I'll pour it over mine. <laughs> you would win master chef with this. Mate, we wouldn't even get to the starting point. <laughs> it's horrible. It looks like bird chat on it. <laughs> it's one big bird. <laughs> well, I actually did have some hope that we would actually make it successful. We got all the pieces together. I thought since it came to work, the rest would. Now it just looks like. <laughs> Disgusting. As long as it tastes right, it doesn't taste good. We failed at all that screws. <laughs> it's like what the people say with the if all else fails, it would taste alright. Yeah, it's weird. So. That's totally not how the saying goes. <laughs> just pop them on. Yeah, I'm gonna scoop. But save some just a little bit for the top. Okay. Well it looks actually good with berries in it. it actually makes it look pretty and not just white. It actually looks kinda good with the berries. <laughs> I'm actually not gonna lie, it looks flavoursome. How do you want your berries in the middle? I'm gonna pour the icing on, hold on. <gasps> no, what are you doing? A sponge cake doesn't have icing on top! This one does, so I've got to show you a picture. Well, our icing didn't turn out right. Ready? <laughs> Ours isn't like that! You're not gonna pour icing over the top! I mean, you can try, do it. Do you try it? Do it. No, oh, this is painful. Again, it looks like bird shit. <laughs> For the berries on top. Oh, more. More? Yeah, you need, you need the edge. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> she just flooded our cake. Now it's going to be so soggy. Oh, what are you doing? You tried to pour the whole... Uh, there's half of a bar left. She tried to pour it all on the top. Ah, the berries fall. <laughs> They're like half, half on the side. <laughs> they sunk down. I'm going to show you what she's done. She's like half on one side. <laughs> Sauce, hold on. Yeah, that was all this. It was my bad. Okay, let's eat it now. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm that really is real. out. Attempted a sponge cake. <laughs> let's be real. You can't it really like a see it. gingerbread house that's had like you know the the snow put on top of it. You just missed this whole side of the cake. You got all this side <laughs> covered in so, mush. It's so flooded that's in just... icing and cream. It just looks like it's. You can reuse cream. Who would have thought? But that is our tip of the sponge cake. And uh, you know, if <laughs> what do you guys reckon? Gross. Thumbs up. Would you eat it? Let's actually do the, the exciting moment is actually tasting it. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna eat it. Well, can we cut it yeah. and eat it? Just in half. Yeah. Oh no, Ness, it's too soft. <laughs> oh look. Oh Ness, Ness, look at this. Oh Ooh. yeah. Get me another bowl. And I'll do this. I'm gonna leave mine. Oh, yeah. I don't know how Zoella does it. Well, though. I guess her, it would have worked out if we didn't have gross cream, so it <laughs> Alright, we're gonna do our moment of truth. Do you want some more jam? Oh, your cake! Look at that! She's. She's smooshed she her cake into the bowl! Into the hey! Do you hey. reckon it's a night of recognizable? As a sponge cake! Get a bit of every, every layer. This is totally like. Friends moment when Rachel oh, tries when she's to make a trifle. a trifle. Oh, wait, wait, you only got whipped cream in there. You gotta take a bite with all the layers. <laughs> but at least you didn't put meat now. Get a bit of all the layers. There's like no cream in this inside. But at least hers looks good. Ours I need more cream. Good. Give me more cream. I could just dip it in. Oh, right? nice. Actually, it tastes nice. It's good with more jam. Mm, so and that tastes like ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> I love how we're just like picking out and eating like 
Just half a cake each. <laughs> no one else is gonna want it. <laughs> oh no! Can you scoop it? Oh, I'm just gonna place it there. on this end and mm. tastes actually good so that's a win in itself it was better than I thought it was gonna be I feel like we, we failed on the cream front that's and where we the let cream is really rich when you try to eat it <laughs> that's where we let ourselves down but otherwise it turned out really well the jam was good the berries were good the cake was good just the cream needs a bit of work yeah um if you guys liked it please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos like this in the future just share a yes or no below otherwise I wish you all a great day and we'll see you in my next video. Bye! Bye. Don't forget to subscribe! <laughs> Thanks for joining me today. No worries.